Hey YouTube, this is Itchy, and I wanted to talk to you for a moment about um, Canadians and the fact that they have been getting pummeled with radiation from Fukushima over the past nine months with absolutely uh, no resources for measuring the amounts of radiation that are, are being detected, um, yeah, likewise in the States and in Europe. And aside from a few uh, spots on the internet, such as Radiation Watch on Facebook and the Any News Forum for posting radiation data, there are no government agencies um, <clears throat> doing any kind of testing to share with people. And I have uh, a bit of a connection to Canada. My parents immigrated there um, in the late 80s. And my dad was heavily involved in politics. He has uh, a few things named after him in the Sarnia and Point Edward and Brights Grove area of Ontario. And one thing that I learned is that um, from spending the amount of time that I have there is that the Canadian people are extremely kind, generous, um, loyal, loving. Um, they care a lot about the environment and um, it's really a shame that they are not being protected by any of their government leaders or the Queen of England which essentially owns Canada um, due to the fact that Canada was part of the British Empire and is now considered crown land. Canadians um, have a, a long history of being subjected to medical experiments. And this was something I found out a few years ago that disturbed me greatly. Um, and, and there is an actual study online that I'll put a link to. Uh, the government of Canada had established in a parasite laboratory in Belleville, Ontario, where it raised 100 million mosquitoes a month, which they then set loose on um, some areas in Ontario so that the researchers could determine how many people would become ill with chronic fatigue sy syndrome or fibromyalgia, which is the first disease to show. Over 700 people in the next four or five weeks develop myalgic encephalomyelitis or chronic fatigue syndrome after these mosquitoes were released and this was in 1984 and something that was documented through their socialized healthcare system. Um, this is a map from 1897 showing the uh, areas that the British Empire owned and this map has uh, changed very slightly since then. Here is Canada, um, small sections of South America, uh, quite a, a big portion of southern Africa where there's a lot of mining, India, Australia, Solomon Islands, New Zealand. Um, I've been doing forecasts online documenting where the greatest fallout has been occurring since Fukushima and in the past nine months um, Canada has just been getting pummeled because of the jet stream and its propensity to hit um, between the uh, southern coast of Alaska and this area of British Columbia. It, it's very interesting that um, we do have in the states some published data from <clears throat> individual research groups that have shown that in March, April, and May uh, people that lived in the Pacific Northwest, and that would include Canada, um, were hit with possibly 5 to 30 hot particles a day, which they would have inhaled. And the number is higher for people who exercise or spend a lot of time outside. Um, we weren't warned in the U.S. either. This was something that was determined from testing of car filters <clears throat> by researchers at Massachusetts Polytech. And within the last two weeks, there has been um, data that has been published showing that 14,000 deaths have occurred in the United States 
just in the first 14 weeks after the triple meltdowns at Fukushima. So if we have 14,000 people in 14 weeks that have died here, you know, how many people have died here? And the heaviest fallout, um, according to the jet stream from those early weeks in March, was hitting directly on British Columbia and then Alberta. And I have friends in Ontario who have been monitoring. They are continually getting high levels of fallout um, as recently as yesterday from a, a storm system that moved through here. And it's just very sad. It's very upsetting that so many people have no idea that this is going on and you expect that your government would take some kind of interest in your health and welfare and basically in Canada Canada that is going to rely on the Queen of England and the people of Canada are all of her subjects. I'm going to put a couple links here to what crown land means and the interesting thing about whoever owns the land is that they own the mineral rights also and that includes the mining of uranium, rhodium, and multiple other uh, radioactive substances that are mined throughout Canada. In fact, here is a map of where all the uranium activities are located. Clearwater, Kettle Valley, Port Radium, Ray Rock, Uranium City, Baker Lake, Rabbit Lake, Key Lake, Cigar Lake, Lake Elliott, Agnew, Bancroft, and Port Hope. This is uh, part of Ontario. That's closest to me. Here's where all the nuclear reactors are. I've actually been to this one. But Uranium is a big business. In fact, Canada is the world's leading exporter of uranium. And Canadians are not being told about the crisis in Fukushima and about the radiation levels because that would draw attention to the fact that this uranium mining is going on, that this is big business for Canada. It's the same bullshit in the States. They're protecting the nuke industry. And this article got posted yesterday, Canada quietly shipping bomb-grade uranium to U.S. We don't want this shit here anymore. We have enough of it that we need to deal with and get rid of, sitting in spent fuel pools everywhere. No place to put it underground. Leaking to the atmosphere. I mean, it's bad enough what's going on in Fukushima. Um, but we don't need this stuff coming over here. You know? And here's... Uh, a little excerpt from Bill Deagle's recent interview with Jeff Frentz, and this is what he says about Canada. Cool, there we go. Yeah, and, and, and the level is 200 in their standard. What they do is it's just like in Canada. Canada is a disgusting country. I know up there you may be offended by this, but you are feudal serfs and subjects in another division of the British Empire. And the scientists always want this to be clean. We're Canadian. We would never do anything bad to the environment. It's just a pile of hogwash. Uh, our standards are far better here in America, and they're still not reporting. I've been fighting now with the University of California, Berkeley, trying to get them to even talk about the data that they have for the past six months they've even been putting online, and no response from anybody in the nuclear engineering department. I've tried to get laboratories elsewhere to do testing. And nobody wants to report on either food or water, or any testing, or, you know, having sampling along the coast, U.S., Canada, Mexico. Nobody's doing anything. As they say in the mob, nobody knows nothing. And nobody's going to talk. No. You I have just, to walk uh, down, like in Korea, with your inspector plus. By the way, don't get it contaminated, because if you get that screen contaminated, it's useless. Yeah, you can walk know. along with your radiation detector, you know, in a nice little case, and bring it near the fish counter. And if it goes click, 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 take your... And go in the other direction. Should you put a plastic bag over it or just keep it away from the object? Um, I think what you do is you 
just keep it away from the object. You the want plastic to bag can cut down the alpha and give you uh, scream some of that out. Any bear yeah, I would. It's basically up to us to take care of ourselves uh, because we are not going to get any help from the government. And the most important thing that needs to be done is that people need to spread the word so that you can undertake steps to do mitigation, to filter water, to avoid days when there is the uh, highest level of fallout. And this is really important for, for the people, especially in British Columbia. And, you know, not only are they getting the continuous releases from the Fukushima plant, but they are getting now the, um, the burning debris uh, particulate that is being sent up in the air all over Japan where they are burning uh, the radioactive uh, debris from uh, tsunami damage and the stuff that's been laying around the countryside for nine months. Um, and there's a 50 billion ton debris field that is heading towards BC, which has actually started to wash up. And these people aren't getting any help from their government. I mean, it's bad in the U.S., but it's even worse there. And I feel really bad for Canadians. I'm going to um, put some links below where you can check out radiation data uh, from the, the people that are posting on any news and on Radiation Watch. And we need to all help take care of each other because your queen is killing you. Be safe.